Hey guys, Peter here to do an album review. Today I'm here to talk to you guys about the brand new album from Skalmold, Sorgir, out October 12 on Napalm Records. This album has nine songs, one of them is a bonus track, and it's 54 minutes in length. Now the overall vibe I got from this record uh, was one that's very different than the way the songs were structured throughout the whole record. The uniqueness of the song structure was really something that spoke to me. It was really something different, something that I'm not really used to and I'm not familiar with, and that created a sense of discomfort. That's not a bad thing, that's not a negative. It just really put me on my toes and it made me pay a lot more attention to the record as I was listening to it. Songs will drastically change their approach halfway through, towards the middle end, like there, there isn't a, a DNA on how they went about creating each single song. Every single one has its own DNA. But I like that. I like that you're listening to a song that's predominantly a folk song and then suddenly, very abruptly, it changes and it becomes a much heavier song with heavier guitar riffs, with heavier vocals. I like that. It, it's a very cool dynamic. It's a very interesting dynamic. One that I was not very familiar with and I'm not very used to. So it took me a couple of listens to really understand what they were trying to do with this record, to understand what they were trying to do with these songs and with their sound. I like it. Once I became uh, more familiarized with the sound, with the way they structure the songs, this record became a lot better to me. Now, a couple of components that I really liked about this album. One was the use of choirs. They really used all of their members and they used all of their voices to give certain songs almost a choir-like vibe. Uh, I like that and I like the fact that they use it throughout the record. They use it in some songs a lot more than others, but they use it throughout the record. It really allows to create songs that have a battle uh, hymn vibe to it. Almost like pumping the troops before going into battle. I like that. That kind of choir sounding really allows to give that vibe to the song. So certain songs that were folky in nature, they were able to use those choirs to give an extra layer to it and to give an extra vibe of folkiness, if you will. Songs that were more aggressive, that were more heavy, though that kind of a choir really allowed for the song to have more of a battle hymn feel to it. So I really feel that this album gives you two sides of a coin. On one side you have the Norse battle hymn kind of music, kind of songs with a lot of more heavier components, with the choirs giving you that sense of, of a call for battle, a call for action. And then on the other side you have more of a folk metal side where you have songs that are more melodic with more folkiness to it. Having said that, there are some songs that dwell within both worlds. There are songs that start off on one side of the spectrum and then change, like I said before, abruptly to the other. So throughout the record, you're really going to get a dynamic battle, if you will, between these two aspects, between the more Norse battle hymn kind of song and the more folky pagan kind of song. I like that. I like that diversity. I like that change. And this is one of the reasons why I didn't find the choirs to become overbearing was because they were used in different ways. They were used in, 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 in ways that per, per, uh, perhaps gave more life and more meaning to the songs. I really like that. I also like the fact that in certain songs, they included a female uh, vocalist to give almost the sense of, of a siren. I, I really like that too. That just threw a different dynamic into the song and just gave different life to the song. One thing I will say, uh, this album is very dynamic, very, very dynamic. Like I said, slow, fast, folk, heavier. It just, it's all over the place within the album structure, but within the song structure as well. One thing I will have to say as well about the guitars in this album is that they are phenomenal. The guitar work on this record is incredible. And specific, I, I really want to be specific on this, the solos. I really like what they've done with the solos. They picked the perfect style solo and the perfect duration solo for the style of the song that they were putting that solo in. I really like that. The solos on this album don't feel like they were parachuted. They really feel like an extension of the song. I like that. I like the melody of the solos. And songs where the, the, the overtone was more of a folky uh, sense, the solo has more of a folk under vibe to it. Songs that, that were a lot heavier or that had heavier moments where that solo comes in, the solo is also a little bit heavier, a little bit more aggressive. I really like that dynamic. I really like the dynamic that the solos really give uh, to the songs. Now, as far as my favorite songs, I'm gonna start with Severity. I really like that song. It starts out almost like a choir-like chanting, 
it's magnificent it really has a lot of folk and melodic melody to it and this kind of choir uh, sound stays throughout the song it really it employs the song a lot of melody and and, and a lot of sense of once again a, a sense of, of volume it really makes the song feel a lot larger that battle hymn style that i was mentioning before the melody is really counterbalanced with the harsh vocals of the song and you needed that when you have that much melody on the guitar riffs and you have that melody coming from the choir, you really needed something to change a little bit of the dynamic of the song. The harsh vocals in this song give you that, that change, give you that yin and yang factor between the two. I really like this song. This is one of those that has a little bit of that, that battle hymn uh, vibe to it. Another great song on this record is Morty. I really like this one. I, I like the introduction of the song, how the song starts. Uh, once again, it, it uses that choir-like voices, that combination of voices to create almost the choir. But what attracted me to this song was the siren-like female vocalist throughout the middle of the song. There's a middle bridge of this song. The song is this song is very folky in nature. It's very melodic, very very up tempo, very very happy-go-lucky kind of melody to it. And then through that middle bridge, you have almost a siren-like female vocalist coming in with this beautiful, beautiful humming. It's just absolutely beautiful and it's not short. The other part that I like about it is that they really prolong her presence within the song. And then it abruptly ends and the song gets so heavy, it's almost like the gates of hell have opened and the army of darkness has pushed through. That's how heavy the song abruptly becomes. You don't really see it. If you're just listening to this song on its own, you really don't see it coming. Now, if you're listening to the record, you almost expect something as heavy as that to come, especially because the album gives you that, that kind of thing throughout the record. You get that in previous songs. You get that... Uh, abrupt change in tempo, that abrupt change in heaviness, that abrupt change in flow. So it was not completely a shock that they did that with this song. Uh, but for those of you that are listening to this song on its own, it will perhaps come a little bit as a shock because it's so abrupt. You have an absolutely beautiful melody throughout. You add that siren-like voice to the song and then you get this, this absolute pure heaviness that just comes in and it just takes you by storm. I love the dynamic that this song has. I love the life that this song has. And I love that dynamic between the siren-like voice, the heavier part of the song, and the more folky melody side of, side of things. I absolutely love this song. One of my favorite songs on the album. Last but not least, another song that I really wanted to mention to you guys is Brunin. Brunin is a much faster and heavier song. It much faster and heavier than the two songs that I mentioned before. It, it, it has a completely different vibe to it. The whole song has super fast, killer, killer, killer guitar riffs with harsh vocals throughout. I really like that. This song is not one of those where they incorporated the, a siren or they incorporated more of a choir like humming sound to it. It's just a heavier song from beginning to end. Beautiful song, heavy, heavy guitar riffs, and they go so well together with the harsh vocals. One more note I have to say about this song is the incredible solo. This song, in my opinion, has the best solo on the record. I absolutely love what they've done with this solo because you have such a heavy song, such a fast paced song, and then you have a solo that just continues from it and it's just blistering, absolutely blistering solo. One of those face melting solos that you almost hear in, in, a, in, a, in a heavy metal slash power metal song really cool solo that really goes on for quite a bit of time so it's not one of those that it's extremely short i really like the fact that it's not overbearing but it, it's it's a little bit longer i like it i really like the solo in this song to me the solo in this song is perhaps the cherry on top of one of the greatest songs of the album at least one of my favorite songs of the album this is it guys this is skull mode sword gear the album is out october 12 on napalm records let me know your thoughts on the band, on this album. What are your favorite songs? What do you think of the overall album? Is this one of your favorites for the year? Let me know in the comment section below. I'll be reading those and getting back to you. Take care, guys.